Matt Brzezowski. I'm Mike Hewitt. And uh, we're talking to you from uh, Dev Jam and OpenMS Dev Jam 2012 in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's the, the hottest thing that's coming. Well, the two big things that we're doing uh, are we're finally going to put a reasonable set of topology, uh, GUI, and OpenMS. Everybody wants to see maps and stuff, so we have been doing that. Um, so what's, as you're saying, a reasonable, reasonable set of topology? Well, a couple of things that we're doing that's different than the previous maps that we have. One is <clears throat> um, we're doing a lot of good JavaScript stuff. We're using a great library by Mike Bostock, uh, who does a lot of uh, visual communication stuff called D3. And uh, uh, we're using that a lot. And uh, we're using another technology uh, called Vaden, which does has a great set of controls like buttons and menus and all sorts of stuff. So you get a real, you know, web 2.0 kind of app with uh, you know, one page kind of thing instead of just links and stuff. So you'll be able to drag and drop the topology and have menu items for really laying out. And uh, we are also working hard to put plugins and different kinds of stuff in so you can uh, write your own menu items. Unfortunately, you have to do it in Java, at least for now. You'll, we'll probably add Groovy support or something like that in the future. But um, <clears throat> and write your own menu items that'll let you say, oh, on these kinds of devices, I want to be able to do this. And then you can actually have pop-up dialogues like you'd have in the old days for mm -hmm. desktop apps that come up and do, uh, do different kinds of operations like, you know, change the password or you know, configure an interface. Or or schedule all the yeah, and in fact, uh, I hired a couple interns this summer and they're working on uh, JavaScript-based SSH windows. So you should be able to pop up a window and SSH into a device and it'll pop up a window in your browser with an SSH VT100 console <laughs> so you can go in. So that'd be nice. That'll be useful. That'd be a nice feature. So for those Cisco devices or something yeah. that you want to log into. So that's one big effort. Um, we're pushing a lot towards a more interactive web UI, another project that I'm not personally working on, but I'm really looking forward to seeing is this uh, near real-time graphing stuff where, uh, um, you know, we could click on, you know, you might see a graph of a mess and click on it and then be able to see the data as it is now and have it collect every minute or a few seconds even and see the data scroll by. And, and it'll actually update on that. I see that as a big help for a lot of people. You know, they're, they're wanting to know, they're seeing a trend and they want to see, okay, what does it look like now as we yeah, change yeah. or correct the problem? Yeah, so that's so those are the big things. And uh, uh, we've been working hard on this. Uh, underneath all of that, uh, to be able to enhance plugins, we're using a technology that other big, you know, we, one of the things about OpenMS is it's got a really big, and a lot of the big, projects are using this technology called OSGI underneath that uh, that really just makes plug-in and dynamically adding new pieces and removing them without starting OpenNMS a lot uh, more sane and simple. I mean, over the years, that's been one of the big problems with OpenNMS. You make a config change, you got to restart. Yeah, but even that got better in the last, you know, last release or two even. I don't think there's much left. Yeah, I, I think so. We But this changes that even further because you can also yeah, well, this will be not just config changes. You should be able to install new, like let's suppose you wanted to start monitoring some new protocol, like HTTPS or something that isn't already built into OpenMS. You could write a plugin for it. You don't have to stop OpenMS. You can just install the plugin right. and start monitoring things that are discovered without having to stop, stop OpenMS. Uh, we're going to try to implement a lot more administrative GUIs for configuring mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, one of the projects that... Uh, one of our guys is doing is going to be, you know, I don't know if any of you know about MIB to open at a mess, you know, that terrible tool that people use to get their events of data collection and stuff. Yeah, you'd have you to. You know, and it core dumps to, if you don't yeah. have exactly the right, you know, so he's finally, he's writing a tool like that using VOD and so you'd be able to go to your web UI and say, here's, here's my MIB and it'll find all the events and let you edit how you want them to behave and write it to a file for event conf and then the same thing be able to select data collection stuff so that's yeah, another that's exciting project yeah. for uh for us to that's a to big, big step forward in that to area make that simpler for everybody
Where do you where do you see that coming into a release time frame? Six so, months. Yeah. So the end of the year probably. So I know for a fact that we'll have some kind of drop uh, by the beginning of September that has has at least the draft of the topology code and and the real time graphing code using OSGI underneath as its basic stuff. So. Uh, so bigger and better. 